Prince William and Prince Harry were once dubbed the Good Prince and the Bad Prince respectively by a royal expert who claims the Duke of Sussex was rebelling over his mother Princess Diana's death. Prince William and Prince Harry have now settled down with their wives, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, respectively. The royal brothers were once subjected to scrutiny from the press over their behavior in their younger years which led to comparisons between the two princes. After passing his A-levels in 2000, Prince William took a gap year before enrolling at the University of St Andrews in Scotland. During the gap year, as a volunteer for the charity Raleigh International, William helped build new walkways and taught English in a mountain village in southern Chile. In the BBC's 2015 documentary Reinventing the Royals, presenter and journalist Steve Hewlett claims Prince William's gap year had been considered successful but added that it is more than can be said, for his younger brother, Prince Harry. Ken Wharf, Princess Diana's former royal protection officer, recalled in the documentary what Prince Harry was like from an early age. He said, I knew him as a young boy, he was a bit of a rascal then, but a likable rascal. Tom Brady, a friend of both William and Harry, recalled, school was a success for William but not for Harry. He didn't really fit in very well at Eton. He wasn't very happy there. I think he was in a pretty bad place at the time. Mr. Hewlett suggests that Harry had already got himself a bit of a reputation for misbehaving. Robert Jobson, the Evening Standard's royal editor, said, at the end of the day he was only a teenager who lost his mum at a very early age. He was rebelling. However, Mr. Jobson notes that William appeared to bypass the publicity received by his brother. He added, there was an image of the good prince and the bad prince, and Harry got labeled the bad prince. Biographer Joanne F. Price claims in her 2011 book Prince William, a biography how initially a young William was somewhat difficult to manage as a youngster, and, Harry was nothing like his older brother. M's Price claimed that Harry was shy and somewhat withdrawn, whereas William was described as a tornado tormenting everyone around him, including his parents, the Queen and his classmates. M's Price concludes that over time, this changed. Just as William was learning manners, Harry began to act up. 